that fissure opening near Yellowstone is not a sign of an impending eruption. Erkin Clemente, Discovery Magazine. Many people point out to me that there are news frenzy about fissures opening near Yellowstone, and now considering that if this were happening, that would be newsworthy. I had to check it out, and with most news about Yellowstone, it's much ado about nothing related to the volcano in Wyoming, he says. Climbers in Grand Teton National Park to the south of Yellowstone have noticed that the cliff face at Hidden Falls and Inspiration has been breaking off due to cracks or fissures on the mountain. This crack has made it very dangerous for climbers as bits of the cliff or possibly the entire face of the mountain might come crashing down, taking climbers with it. This sort of thing happens often on exposed rock and mountain areas. They can be easily oversteepened, and then gravity does its thing, bringing down the rocks fast. Yosemite National Park experiences quite often, and people have died in the process. That's why Grand Teton National Park closed the area to the public. However, because this cracking, likely due to faulting or weathering in the Tetons, is happening in the general vicinity of the Yellowstone caldera. Many in the media have wrongly connected these cracks with the volcano. So let's get it straight right now. This is in no way a sign of impending eruption at Yellowstone. Some sources have tried to say things like Grand Teton National Park sits atop the Yellowstone supervolcano. That is just wrong. Even when you look at the footprint of the volcanic system at Yellowstone, it's a massive stretch to say that the Tetons are over Yellowstone. The Grand Teton mountain range were formed by the stretching of North America and formed in the geologically recent past, the last 10 million years. Yellowstone is there due to a hot spot under North America and is not the cause of the Teton range. Connecting the two directly is just a gross violation of correlation and location leading to causation, fissure formed during the, uh, due to the volcano, which it did not. Even the portrayal of the fissure as vast is overblown. Reports say it is 100 feet long, that's 30 meters. That is small. I realize that with the eruption in Hawaii, people are now attuned to hear fissures in a volcano and jump to new conclusions that an eruption will start, but this is not the case here. There is no magma body near the surface under the Tetons and no other signs like earthquakes or gas release, so no eruption is coming especially from a 30-meter fissure over 100 kilometers from Yellowstone. And remember, always trend cautiously when you read about people saying Yellowstone is going to erupt soon. The only real source for news that the conditions at Yellowstone are changing is the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. And beyond that, 99% of all Yellowstone news that implies eruption is just an attempt to scare people into reading articles. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.